Well, good afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, um, the Cowboys are getting ready to take on the Texans <clears throat> this Sunday night, their last preseason game, as we sit 14 days, 5 hours, 12 minutes, and 40 seconds away from playing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Can you believe it? two weeks away from the season opener, a game in which I have said many, many, many times that I believe that the Dallas Cowboys get a victory. I know everybody says I'm crazy, but I'm going to say that they actually have a really good chance of winning this game. Now, something that was actually kind of interesting to me um, that I was listening to this morning was the thought of teams targeting Dak Prescott's injuries. You know, going for the, the shoulder, making sure that when you tackle him that you're holding the arms out so that way you drive that shoulder a, into the ground. And, of course, making sure that you hit kind of low at that ankle. You know, this is kind of like if you've ever seen um, The Longest Yard, the original one. It was kind of kind of crazy, at least. I, 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 the second one was funny. It was good and all that, but it wasn't as good as the original. But in the original, they got into the file cabinet to get the medical records of all the policemen. In which case, they knew what other injuries that they had, and they made sure that they went to them. And that was kind of the way, you know, I don't want to say that it was dirty, but, you know, back in the day, <laughs> you, you kind of targeted people. You did the high-low block to make sure that you cut a guy off at his knees, and if his knee got tore up, his knee got tore up. So I want to play this clip because it's, it gives you something to think about, you know, in this kinder, gentler NFL. Let's go to the tape. He potentially – one of the most dirty – okay, not play. You talk about I'm a habitual line stepper. Well, that original line stepper is Ndamukong Suh. If Ndamukong Suh can get a monkey back ride from Dak Prescott and jump on his back to make him test and see if that, that leg is fully healed, hmm. he's going to do it, right? If I'm playing the Dallas Cowboys, I'm going to play Dak Prescott like a – pocket quarterback because I, I dare you to run I dare you to run I dare you to give us the angle so our cornerbacks or our linebackers can run you down and hit you low in that leg and see how confident you are I remember going against Tom Brady fresh off the knee injury we put every single blitz we had up the a gap because we knew that he was going to be afraid to plant that leg and mm. sit that leg out there that had just got knocked out by Pollard because he planted and he had it exposed. So we put everything there and all those balls were selling, especially early in the season. They were selling because he didn't want to set into it. Will Dak Prescott have the confidence to step into his throws? And also now he has a hurt shoulder. I'm tackling his arms. You know what tackling your arms mean? You know what tackling arms mean? That means you ain't going to have nothing to stop you from falling. I'm going to drive that shoulder through the turf. He'll just do quick passes and, <laughs> and slice and dice. Hold on. This ain't going yes, to get no bombs. On, this ain't going to get no bombs. I'm going to press you then. You ain't getting those, son, because guess what? We playing press coverage. Now nah, what you going to do? CD can run some routes. Okay, what he can mm -hmm. do? Amari's healthy now. Oh, I'm just saying, like you said, to who? Like the Cowboys don't have weapons. The Cowboys got weapons, and by and oh, by the way, <laughs> offensive line is healthy. Bingo, <laughs> a healthy offensive line and a rejuvenated Ezekiel Elliott. What do you say? They, so so Zeke, like last year, they said he lost what 10, 15 pounds in the offseason. Do mm -hmm. we know how hard it is to lose 15 pounds in like a couple of months? It's, it, not, it, easy. it's like not easy. Eating carbs. That's it's all not easy. With dedication. Don't, don't eat carbs. Like, dedication. Don't go into ketosis. <laughs> like I can lose 10 pounds in a week. You want to see? How about, let's come back on. On this show next week, let's see if you lost your 15 Don't go into you ketosis. I, I, the point that I'm trying to make is this. It's like a simple point what? I'm trying to make is this. The Cowboys don't have to uh, rely on Dak Prescott early in the season. Yes, he's coming off of a leg injury. And his shoulder, he's coming off of a shoulder injury. Mm -hmm. They don't have to rely on him. They have three of their starting five offensive linemen are coming back. Dominant offensive linemen. They have a running game as well. Dominant. So they, they won't have – Dominant. Dominant. They won't have to rely on – they don't have to rely on Dak Prescott early on. The only reason I say you don't have to rely on him early on is because, yes, coming off of an injury, people say he hadn't played in all these days. Yes, things may sail a little bit. Yes, it may take time to get back into your rhythm. I understand you played Tampa Bay week one. I don't think, right. a, lot, I don't think a lot of people expected them to win with a healthy Dak anyways. So, hmm. like, like, let's just make hmm. that clear. Um, I think the biggest point I'm, I, I see is this. Uh, the Cowboys have a chance to win this division – especially with a healthy Dak. Mm -hmm. So I respect the fact that the trainers and the staff and the coaches kept him out for as long as they kept him out. It's probably been about two, three weeks now. Mm -hmm. The first was day-to-day, -day, we don't know. And, and I, Kyle Shanahan said it best, and I'll kind of rest my case here. He said, what benefit do I have 
in telling all of you or any of you who my starting quarterback is going to be. All that does is allow for teams to start game planning. Yep. So what? Ben, so that's what he said. It makes total sense. What benefit do the Cowboys have in telling us how long Dak will or will not be healthy two, three, four weeks ago? The only benefit that the Cowboys yep. have is getting a healthy Dak Prescott on week one when they play Tampa Bay. Even if they lose that game, which everyone expects them to lose. Not Even me. the Cowboys faithful. I grew up in Dallas, right? Not Even me. the Cowboys faithful expect <coughs> them to lose. I mean, that's a little stress. They probably yeah. lose every game. Sure. Getting a healthy Dak like later is better than trying to get him back yeah. right now. But have you ever had an injury early in preseason? I have. Many camps. I have. Did it ever get better? Well, no. You're, you're, I'm so glad you asked that question, Bart. So in 2013, I was playing for the Arizona Cardinals. We were playing the Saints. I just sacked Drew Brees, and I broke my leg two, week, two, two quarters later. I sacked him in the first half, broke my leg, broke my fibula in, tw- in the third quarter. Mm-hmm. And recover- that was week four of the season, early in the season, similar to when Dak got injured. Mm-hmm. Broke a fibula, didn't protrude from the skin, but it happened. Fast forward to the next year, right? You rehab, you recover, you do all the things. And all of a sudden, like, yeah, my leg's not feeling great, but I got like some back, I had some back issues. Okay. Right? Like my lat was, people don't understand, like your whole body is connected. Compensation, compensation. Right. Your, your, your body is connected. So like, like though my ankle, my left ankle, my fibula was broken, they got all these things, all of a sudden like my back is hurting. And all of a sudden when I'm doing my rehab, they're not working on my ankle, they're working on my back and my lats. And so when that got hurt, it made sense that, oh, like athletes, like Bart said, are the ultimate compensators if you have an injury here you'll figure it out another you know what i mean like so so great point that's what i see here with this injury that compensating that's why i respect the fact that the cowboys sat him for as long as they did and that he's and that he's healthier now he's in seven on seven for the first time he looks really good so D- to you he looks job. good Man, not I, to me to ezekiel elliott his okay, teammate yeah. well, who said what. he looks amazing well, not to me. Wait, well, Zeke not to got me. pom-poms right he's sitting up there <laughs> hey hey because he wants everybody to focus on Dak and not focus on the fact that he's a 90 million dollar running back in a position where he's not even a everything top comes down to money the league anymore and he's taking all the cheese off the taco he bro, knows he's a candidate he got the cheese that's why you know bro you know what it's like to get paid but he Bart, but he you know what it's like but to get he's paid. a candidate next year to take a pay cut no you know right. you know they coming to him next year he's got to pay gallop bingo so he's trying to make sure i'm great when Works the two words in, the, in an athlete's life, greatest shape of my life. Yes, that's for sure. the word. Like when you hear that, you know, listen, you, <laughs> you better get, get ready to walk paid. that mile. Like, right, greatest shape of my life. No, but, 10 pounds. but you right. know what it's like to get paid, right? You, you know what it's deck. like to you get paid. Deck. No, no, but before, so like he, like Zeke was grinding, 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 got paid, got lazy. That happens. That's facts. Not just in football, in yeah. life. You get mm-hmm. paid, oftentimes you get lazy. You saw what happened with Zeke last year, fumbling the rock. I was watching those well, games. It was trying too hard. He was trying too and hard. And he was out of shape. He admitted it. So now he's like, bro, I saw what happened last year. I saw what happened to our quarterback, to our team. I am rededicated. And so but like Zeke's out. not. But, 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 yeah, but, go ahead. Go ahead. He's going to be DeMarco Murray. He's going. They're going to run. They're going to run Zeke into the ground, and they're going to either ask him to take a pay cut or they're going to cut his ass. But let's get back to the. But let's get back to the. Let's just quickly get back to the Dak conversation, though, because as you guys talked about the compensation of the injury, right, and and that's the thing to worry about with Dak, which is what the Cowboys are worried about. Listen to what uh, Robert Griffin III said yesterday uh, on on Get Up when he was talking about the injury with Dak. Now it's the shoulder now, but he said he's not really as concerned about the shoulder as he he is is the the ankle. The shoulder injury, back injury that that Dak is dealing with is more of an overuse injury. So if he can rest it up like they're doing and and keep him out of the preseason games, he'll be ready to roll for the regular season. But what concerns me more is the leg injury from last year. Um, Just making sure that he's healthy enough to go out there and play the way that he wants to play the game. But once you make that transition and you're back back on the field, it actually flips on its head and it becomes 10% physical. So I don't want to see some of these throughout his body like he's dealing with right now with his shoulder. Uh, I want them to be able to ease him back into it. You under, did you guys agree with that point, that the shoulder is not the concern? It's Is he as confident with that ankle when he gets into live action? Listen, I had total reconstruction of my big toe. So I have tendonitis in my opposite leg, right? So he's going to – listen, this is just the beginning. If he's not healthy now, wait till we get to week eight. Listen, he's going to fall apart, right? He's going to have to figure Here out how go. to compensate, and it's going to hurt other things. That's why they have to lead on Ezekiel Elliott because Dak Prescott is not going to be able to carry them to the finish line this year. That, he, it takes more than a year to heal up because he's got to adjust to the readjustment. That's why you sit him all preseason. 
That's right. I don't right. care about them sitting preseason. <laughs> what I hate is the fact that that defense is what's getting him ready for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That defense can't fight his way out of a wet paper bag, and now he's going to go against a real defense. So him oh. speed that defense ain't preparing him for nothing. He's going to be weak. <clears> I love that Sam. Game. Sam was concise. That's Sam was concerned. Oh, wait a minute. Did he just throw some more shade on the Dallas Cowboys defense? Bart Scott, I I'm curious, though. Bart Scott, you threw everything at Tom Brady. <clears throat> when Tom Brady was, you know, coming back from injury, you threw everything at him. Did you win the game? Bro, did you all win the games? Did you win the games? Because in football... You, you know what you do in football? Do you know what you do in football, Bart? You play to win the game. Hello? You play to win the game. You don't play to just play it. That's the great thing about sports. You play to win. And I don't care if you don't have any wins. You go play to win. When you start telling me it doesn't matter, then retire. Get out. Because it matters. So the question will be is, will players like Nama Kinsu, which he will be facing the first week, the first game, look to jump on Dak Prescott's back, look to target that injury, look to maim him and get him out of the game? Well... Stay tuned. Two weeks, friends. Two weeks. Our coach here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. And the only thing else I got to say is, how about this, Joe? I'll see you later. <laughs>